Good day guys, Bing here. Today let's model these ramps. Okay, so let's start. First, let's create a project and go to elevation, copy some levels, CC, one, two. Okay, go back to floor plan and I'm going to, let me just hide this EH. So I'll use grid. Okay, so one horizontal and another one vertical. So now I'm going to draw a wall, WA, and maybe place it here. So select this wall, um, maybe I'll move it uh, maybe 33 meter away from the grid. Okay, so and then I'll just mirror this wall to the other side. Um, I'll also place a door on this wall, so DR, load family. So this is an opening, so it's in the door folder, structural folder, and this one. And I'm going to create a new type. I'll call it 24 by 24, and also change the width and height to 24, 100. So um, I'll place one here. And then I'll just align AL so this door center to the grid. I'll also mirror this door MM. So now we have two doors on each side. If I go to 3D view, you will see the door, the level of the doors, the opening is not correct. Just select them, change it. Oops, change the, them to level two. Oh, sorry. Uh, because currently the wall was uh, not high enough so just change the wall to level 3 and then change the door or the opening to level 2 okay so now we just need to I'll just level I'll just maximum 3 extend okay so now we need to uh, create a ramp start from roughly let's have a look at the image start from here go all the way up to about the same location and then go straight into that opening okay so now let's have a look uh, first um, we need to have a look of the if we click on the ramp so architecture ramp and, and go edit time so let's have a look of these two option or not two option two setting okay so the first one is maximum incline length. So this is the max, the maximum slope length before you having have to uh, have a landing. Okay, but in for this exercise because uh, there's no landing at, at all. So what we can do is we can just type in uh, nine hundred oh, one kilometer. Okay, and this is the maximum slope. Uh, for the ramp. So uh, depending on your local uh, code, this will be different. So I guess, let, let me just guess 20, 1 to 20. So we can have a 1 to 20 uh, ramp without landing. It might be 24 or 30, but for this exercise, I'll just use 20. Okay, so, so uh, you can just click OK. But we still need to just do a little bit air calculation. So go to uh, elevate uh, elevation. So the ramp starts from ground floor, finish at level two, which is eight meter height difference, which means so see eight meter times the maximum slope twenty. We need at least one hundred and sixty meter. So um. Let's, let's go to the ground floor. So we are still under this uh, ramp sketch tool. So what we, what we can do is, um, I'll show you. So if we change this to level two, so ground to level two, if I draw a straight ramp, this will be 160. But now what we need to, to do is we need, we will do it as a circle, almost circle and a little bit a straight ramp so I guess let me just do a rough uh, calculation so 160 
if if it's a full circle ramp, it will be divided by uh, pi 3.141596. Equals. Oh, that's a diameter. <laughs> and if I divide by two, that's a radius. Okay, we need a twenty-five meter radius. But because we um we have extra straight ramp, I'll just hang on. Let me just roughly um I guess it's about maybe let's say twenty meter or twenty-five meter. So I'll do it again. So 160, oh sorry, 160 meter divided by minus 25 meter equals this divided by 2 divided by pi equals about 21 meter. So let's just do it as 22 radius. I think should be okay. Okay, so let's do it. So click on this center arc, center end arc, and click on this intersection of these two grids, and roughly, uh, roughly. Oh, actually, it's okay. You just need to, you don't need to pick that point for now. So you just roughly find the 22 meter radius. Okay, so click. And then, so now you will see this ramp is going this way. Okay, you just need to move your cursor, and then it will change. See, it will change. Okay, so you you can stop here. You have to stop here, and you can you can still can move this point close to the starting point. Let's just stop here. Okay, so now you can click on this line and click on this ramp and then you can just try to find that that uh, see this little symbol so this is a tangent symbol so which means uh, this straight ramp is tangent to the circle one okay so to the arc one so click so now this is the it so we can let's just ch change the width. So that's two meter wide, and um, I think that's that's it. So click finish. Let's have a look in 3D view. Yep, good. So I'll just delete the ramp, uh, the, the railing for now. So it's clear, clearer. So have uh, go back to ground floor because currently it's not. So it's not direct into those openings so we just need to select this ramp R O space which means uh, re replace the uh, place the center of the rotation so place here and then you just need to move this to oh this is a little bit hard to find maybe I'll just do it roughly here yeah I think that's good and then we just need to edit sketch you can just drag this to pass pass that more yeah. and finish. Okay, so this is this is it. And and if you want to check the ramp, the slope of this ramp, it's slightly uh, lower than one to twenty. Okay, so you can also create a new uh, slope spot. Uh, what's that called? Spot slopes tag and you can use the go to unit format you can change this to one to ratio and usually I'll use one decimal uh, place so what's that called decimal yeah <laughs> okay so see it's one to twenty point five which is all, all okay I believe so if yeah if your maximum uh, maximum slope is twenty so this is okay so now what we need to do we need to copy this not copy this and not mirror this we need to rotate this so ro space and pick this point and you can check this copy and click anywhere and type in 180 meter oh sorry 180 degrees 
So now we have another ramp. Let's have a look in the 3D view so you will see it go in the middle. Okay. Um, and and when yeah, always check. So we always check the the, the elevation to make sure that's enough head high when you design all this. Okay, so it looks so good. And then um, in this project there there are two another um, passage way from the level one to the middle of the ramp. Let's do that. So let's go to level one. I'm going to just uh, create a uh, a floor. Okay, so go with my floor here. So I use pick line. I'll offset one meter from the grid. So one one, and also I'll I'll pick I'll pick line, pick this wall, and also I'll pick this uh, the edge of the ramp. So now I have this floor at level one. Let's have a look in this uh, in 3D view. Okay, so it looks like the level is not. Let me just uh, add another opening. You can control C. You can control C and escape, modify, and play uh, align to select level. So for example, I'll, I'll place it on ground floor as well. So you can select both level one and ground floor. So that's it. So looks like uh, this is not matching. This is a little bit issue here. And also, even if the if the floor is higher, so for example, I'll just uh, 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 add a little offset to it. Even if it's uh, maybe two hundred, like this, try to not have these. I okay? guess so try to not have this. This this is very dangerous. It's it's not very dangerous. Oh, sorry, it's very dangerous. It's not acceptable. Okay, so what I suggest is maybe just add a landing, add a landing to this part of the ramp. So what we can do is so um, I'll delete this one. Okay, I'll I'll delete one of this. I'll adjust this first. So what I will do is I'll select this one, Control C, Edit Sketch. And you can delete this part and click on this uh, stair ramp sketch run. Dr click drag these points back about here and click on the riser, pick a line, pick this edge of the floor. So we can maybe drag this back a little bit further. Okay, so we can trim uh, and let me just delete this this one. Trim and trim. So this will be a uh, one of the two ramp ramps we're going to create. Okay. So in, instead of one, we create we're going to create two. So this way, we will be able to match the level to. So here, so select this ramp. You can change the top level to level one, and of course this floor I'll change this floor back to zero so you will see now the level of the floor and the ramp are matching okay so now go to uh, modify so paste and align to same place so this is the original ramp again so edit sketch so this time select this this run drag this Drag this to the other side of the, uh, the floor, roughly, and click on riser, pick line, pick the other side of this floor, and delete this uh, riser, and trim. Okay, so trim, trim, trim. So now, uh, and also just need to change the base level to level one. So because th this this ramp start from here, so level which is level one, stop at level two. So okay. So 
that's 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 it. So now you can you can either add another floor as as a ramp, or you can just maybe increase. Uh, maybe let's just do this way. Increase the increase this floor to match the ramp. So okay, so this is more. It's it's, it's safer. Okay, instead of you know have a little uh, gap or a little step, little very uh, at that corner, that, that's very dangerous. Okay, so um, yeah, looks like uh, the ramp. This we we're having a little bit issue here. So it looks like that's eight meter. We need about four. 300 so so what you can do is you can just create maybe just adjust the ramp to increase the radius or you can adjust the level to reduce the level but I'll leave it to you so this is this is it so we can just select everything oh, let's go to floor plan maybe side plan so we can see everything here so select the ramp together with the floor how do, do I have doors here uh, let's have a look in 3d view again okay so maybe I'll delete this one so go back to side plan I'll select everything here this one select all the door three three door three opening M M pick this grid Oh sorry, not mm. <laughs> Control Z. Sorry. We can we can mirror floor and the doors, floor and the three doors. We can mirror, okay. But for the ramp, we need to rotate. So R O space. Pick this one. Pick anywhere and 180 degree. Oh, I forgot to pick. This check the copy so control z sorry about that again one ramp two ramp r o space copy pick this point anywhere 180 so now let's have a look in 3d view that's it um, if you have any question please let me know and i'll see you next time bye